Ooh. All right, homies, sorry the sun's in the way. Uh, just got to the spot. It's a rough ass day, so I came here. Cracking open, uh, cracking open a hen house. Bebe Rebozo, I don't know if that's how you say it. It's a, uh, took a few days off. It's a uh, Wednesday. Uh, so I'm here by myself. I'm gonna cast from up here for a while, see how far I can get it. There's a lot of those uh, sea whip thingies. I forget what they, they call them, like the seaweed thingies. So I'm probably gonna get tangled in those. But we'll see first cast. Second cast. It was actually a kelp crab with it too. That's why it felt heavy as fuck. Woo. Little dinky. So that was the first fish on the hen house, right on hen house. Let's see if we can do it again. So I snagged, you can see the hook completely open. So time to replace this guy and uh, another sinker. So I'm gonna turn it off, probably start off at another angle so you guys don't get the sun. So here we go. Oh, all right, so it's the first person view, homies. Hit bottom, take out the slack. Oh, that was a bite. Took it. I'm gonna show you guys how to put on shrimp flies. We're gonna try to be more informative now. Uh, I'm not gonna use this kind. I already have one open, but I wanna show you guys how. You know, just take it out of the package. There you go, I did that just to save time. Out of the package. Kinda untangle it. That's it. Pretty quick. Okay, this side has a little surgeon's loop. This side gets a swivel. I like these little swivels. Some of them come with a swivel already. All right, that's it, it's on. Tie that to your main line. I like doing a uni 
So bring it back along it along the main line. Whoops. There you go. And now just loop the tag end around where you brought it back and along the main line uh, about six times, six, seven times. So here we go. So loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you have it. There's your knot. And then you just slide it down. You'll see I'll slide it down when I pull the main line. Just slides down. And then just trim the tag end. I'm not going to show you that part because just wasting time. So then at the other end, it has this little swivel with a little snap. Put your sinker right there. This is pretty cool because if it's too rough or uh, if it's, you know, just based on different conditions, you could change your sinker pretty quick. And that's it. And now I just tip it the ends with squid, a little bit of squid. A little goes a long way with these things. You're going more for the color and that little reflective. You see that? That's about it. And now the last step is optional, but open yourself up a hen house. There we go. All right, so for the squid, you could just, like I said, it doesn't matter. Just make sure your hook is exposed. Different ways to do it. Some people just add a strip. I'm just doing a chunk. I'm lazy right now. So the thing about using this rig is, since it has two hooks, it's a lot easier to get snagged. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll just lose one hook. Sometimes you're unlucky, you lose the whole rig. Um, usually if I lose the sinker, um, I'll just cut off the hooks and then uh, just use them, make my own rig with them. But yeah, it's a good rig to use. I recommend it for the rocks. They're about, you could find them around like a two bucks. Um, I usually don't keep the little snap swivel. I've had bad luck uh, reusing those. They kind of like fall apart. They're kind of cheap. But yeah, definitely recommend shrimp flies or the rocks. So I'm feeling till I hit bottom. I can tell I hit bottom. I'm just gonna close this, take out the, whoa, whoa, whoa that was quick. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, they like red. Let me get them over, whoa. Sorry, fish. That was cool. <laughs> One of these guys. Whoa, that was right away too. Holy moly. So yeah, if you don't believe in shrimp flies, hopefully you believe them now. Um, these guys kind of bite hard, dude. So I'm gonna get my little, uh, my little grippers, my little pit bull tackle grippers. Oh, man, that was dope. Let's go release this guy. Straight to the bottom. Whew, good job. Whew. That was pretty much like a shrimp fly commercial right there, boys. So P line, if you want to pay me, send me a message. I'll send you my Venmo. Man, that looked good. Hell yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Hen House IPA for that one. I think that was a little secret. Whew. All 
All right, homies, let's see if we could do that again. They like the red right now, I guess. So there's the snag I was telling you guys about. I probably landed behind a rock. One of the hooks got stuck. Happens. Yeah, let's see. Lost something. I think I lost the whole rig. Ah, I lost the whole rig. And they like the red. So like I said, sometimes you could lose the whole rig. It happens. It sucks. Ugh. I do have uh, one more set of red. Uh, the next set that I have is five aught. So I'm gonna add a bigger chunk of squid and hopefully we have better luck. Wait until I hit bottom, I hit something. Whoa, I felt a little bite. Already. See that? Nope. But they like that color today. It's good to know. Oh man, they robbed me. So both the squid is gone. So it's a good sign. I got more squid. Cast in the same spot. Make sure you open your bail. Oh man, they're after it. They're definitely after it. Oh man, I could feel them. Tiny little dink. Oh, he fell off in the tide pool. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Tiny little fella. Good for him. Or her. Or they. Good job, little fish. Cast it pretty far out. I feel like nibbles, but I can't tell if it's. Yep, nibbles. Oh my god, missed. Damn. Missed and it took the squid. Okay, so I keep missing this bite. And it feels like a good bite. So, let's do it. Last tent house, come on. Give me luck. You have to be shitting me, dude. So it looks like, well, I wasn't paying attention, a bird pooped. Backpack? So I've been getting pooped on a lot lately, dude. On my fucking sweater too? God damn it, dude. This sweater always gets poop on it. Shit. Not on me though. I hope not. Okay, but uh, supposedly good luck. Let's see if it's true. Let's test it. Got it. 
I knew we would get it. It's tiny, but oh. Got another one, got another one. Knew we would get it. Right on, buddies. Shit. Ugh. Number three. No floaters, no floaters, no floaters. Go. Happy birthday to me, dude. <clears throat> Homies, I didn't want to say it because I know you guys didn't want to believe it, but it's the birthday episode. TDD is getting older. Uh, so, let's go. Thanks a lot, Hen House. See if that guy has bigger friends. Let's see. I could already feel nibbles, but it feels tiny. house a weak ass hook set by me top water top water We switch rigs real quick to a rig that I know works. We'll get one more fish and then head out. I'm kind of pushing it. All right, I switched rigs. Three-way swivel. Long ass, uh, yeah, long ass leader. Sometimes these, uh, I think especially like the blues, they aren't sitting in the bottom. They're kind of just floating. So hopefully this gets like eye level. So let's go. One more. Let's try to do one more before I leave. That was a decent little bite. That's a good one. Holy shit. That's a good one. Whoa. Damn, what is it? What is it? Yo, yo, grassy boys, grassy boys. That's a good one. Woo. Oh man. Whew. Oh, 
Grassy boys. That's a good one. <laughs> Happy birthday to me, dude. Grassy boys. Uh, almost want to keep them. Like I said, it's my birthday. We're going to let this guy go. Grassy boys. Right on, dude. I told that fish you're lucky it's my birthday. Whew. Thanks again, hen house. That was caught using the hen house. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Time to go home, homies. What a good day. What a great day. Oh, God, a grassy.